every so often, a horror film comes around that breaks all the rules by not breaking a single rule. In a quiet town, on a tranquil lake, slightly to the right from these creepy woods, near this dilapidated gas station, lives America's greatest horror writer. I can't believe you came along just to see Stephen King. But when these six stereotypical characters with weak story arcs, you just want to be alone with three young girls. Disturb the peace in this town of overacting antagonists. They'll realize when you go in search of your favorite author. What kind of animal attacks a man at a gas station in the middle of the day? It doesn't always have a happy ending. Inspired by the disturbed mind of best-selling author Stephen King comes a movie that has it all. Fake blood, hot babes, babes on babes, fog, more fog, creepy twins, low-budget gratuitous violence, high school drama. What happened is your boyfriend was making out with a girl that I was going to marry. Oh, give me a break. The token black man. And of course, cheesy Stephen King references. There's Ronnie. This summer, horror is king. Don't you think two of our friends dying qualifies us for serious danger? No, not just serious danger. Stephen King danger. You can't kill Stephen King.